Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I used Notion as an MBA student. I've made um, a few videos about Notion on this channel and I got a comment saying that I should use Notion. I should show you guys how I use Notion as an MBA student. If you are new here, my name is Tayo. I graduated with my MBA from the University of Chicago booth just last year. Notion is a very important tool in my life. I use Notion for everything. I use it to manage my spiritual life, my finances, my personal life. And while I was in business school, I used Notion to manage my business school life. So I'm going to just jump right into it. I'm going to show you my screen and the things that I use Notion for and how you can do that yourself. Let's get into it. This is my Notion business school page. And if you are going to get started with this, what I did was I added a cover and I just added a cover of a school. Very cheesy. You can add a cover of anything that you like. And on the left here, I also added an icon with the graduation cap because the goal was to graduate. But here I detailed my course plan, MBA, recruiting, and beneath here I have the notes from all the classes that I took throughout um, business school. So let's get into it. The first thing that I used Notion for was my course plan. So when I was coming into business school, I had a goal in mind, and you can see my goal here. My goal is to end my MBA with specialization in strategic management, entrepreneurship, behavioral finance, and business analytics. So this was my goal that I wrote in 2021, August 2021. I also planned for the courses. So based on what I knew that I wanted to get out of business school, I looked at my course curriculum. And before I started, I tried to figure out how many courses did I need to take in each of these areas to get a concentration in them. So you can see foundation courses, these are the three. And I set them here as like goals or to the list of courses that I wanted to get. And I just did, I just took them off. I first listed out all the concentration that I wanted to get and I listed the courses out of them. Now, I'm going to show you how to do one of this on Notion. All you need to do is press the forward slash and just do a toggle list. And under my toggle list, let's say that I wanted to get a concentration in international business. I type international business and then under it here, forward slash again, and then I put to-do list, and then I put the course, international business, course one, international business, course two. So this was how I created, you know, these things that you see up here. And when I do those courses, I come here and I take them off as done. So first of all, this is the basic page. There's nothing dramatic. I, I, I always like my notion to be very simple. This is a very busy, it's a page. I was just writing things in this page. And then here, autumn quarter, I just wrote the courses that I took or the courses that I plan on taking. And this is important because in business school, at least in my own business school, we had to bid for the courses that we are going to take. So having a plan ahead of time, you know, is helpful. Also, again, in my business school, we had a Slack channel. And in the Slack channel, we had people that would recommend courses. So people on Slack would be like, take this course, it's really helpful. The, the professor is nice. I learned X, Y, Z from it. Or they'll say, avoid this course, it is not helpful. So whenever I was on Slack and people were either recommending a course or warning us from taking a course, I would be on this page and I would put in, you know, the information. So here was basically just my plan. Like, like even here, I had like my bidding plan. I had 19,000 points. I was going to bid X, Y, Z. So that's the first thing that I did. I had a basic notes page. And on the notes page, I wrote out my plan. Now, don't forget the key or the reason why we have Notion for, why we're using Notion for our MBA is just so that we retain information. And now I've graduated, I graduated last year, two years from now, three years from now, if I'm trying to remember something, I can always come to this page and I have the information. The way that I use, notion was for recruiting right this is where you get a job in business school and this is my recruiting page i recruited for consulting so first thing that i did here was i had general advice so in the general advice page every time that i went you know for a webinar about recruiting and someone gives any advice 
I will come here and I will put it on this page. And all these are basic pages, nothing dramatic. Another thing I did on this recruiting page was, as you can see here, I have a page for all the companies that I recruited for. What you have inside these pages was, anytime I spoke to somebody, because I had to do a lot of coffee chats. So every time I spoke to somebody in that company, inside the page, I would create a toggle list, the way I just showed you now, and I would put their name. I spoke to blah, 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 blah. And inside the toggle list, I would put bullet points about what the person said. So if the person gave me advice, I'll put that there. If the person said anything personal about themselves, maybe they have a child, or they are getting married two months from now, or anything, I'll write it there. And it was helpful so that whenever I sent a thank you note, or if I was following up with them months after, I would have something, you know, to mention and say, hey, how was the wedding? Or, you know, I, you, know you said you were going on a trip back to Taiwan, how was the trip? So in business school, when you are recruiting and you are doing a lot of coffee chats, you know that you need to come to coffee chats with questions. And I just felt like it was redundant to have to be thinking about questions all the time. So inside all these pages, I have questions that I already prepared. So that way, if anybody invites me to a coffee chat out of the blue, I had questions that I was going to you know, be able to ask. The next thing that I used Notion for was I used Notion to take notes. I wish I created this, this beautiful gallery view. So I'm going to do it here. So what I did was, again, forward slash. Forward slash is how you create things in Notion, okay? So I press forward slash, and then I put a gallery view. So on a database, select gallery view and automatically, you know, the gallery view is created. And then I create a new database and that's how I get here. So I just put the name of the course, to be honest. So let's say the course is Jungle Wisdom. <laughs> that was what, that's what I did. I, you can see, I just put Kizik, Wisdom, like I'm making up stuff. But that's how I created, you know, every of this one is gallery view and new database. And I can just name this as winter 2023. So that's how I did it, very straightforward. Okay, so inside each of those pages, and I'm going to take this one for example. So this was autumn quarter 2021. I took three classes, microeconomics, statistics, and taxes. And under microeconomics, what I typically put was, I put the professor's name, I put the course code. And it's just helpful for me, like I've graduated now, if I want to remember who, who was my microeconomics professor, I have the professor's name and I can always reach out to them. And what I did, so what I did in Notion, to be honest, in business school, I took notes with my Samsung notes. At that time, I had a Samsung tablet and I took notes with my Samsung tablet. Most of the classes as well, the professor would have provided us a, like the PowerPoints, they provide us like the documents that they are teaching from. So what I always did was I wrote out my notes on the PowerPoint that they were um, teaching from. But every week I, I tried, I didn't do it every week, but every week I did my best to review the material for that week. So. Again, how it was in my business school was we would be taught in class and then every week we were given an assignment. Either a case or something to write, something to read. So what I did was every week while I was doing the case assignment, I would also review the material. And that's why, and I put the material that I reviewed in Notion. So in Notion, I put revision points and I have it on a weekly basis. And the reason why this was helpful for me is when it's time to study for the exam, all I have to do is to go to my Notion and read my notes. So supply and demand, what is demand? I just, like the basic things, like I create questions for myself based on the material. So what is demand? I put the information there, you know, differentiate between movement along the demand curve, I put the question there. And this is very easy to create. Like, let me show you how to create it. I do like heading, heading one, and I put maybe week 10. So week 10, test. And I, I create a toggle list and I write the question. So I write, 
what is Notion, for example. Another question is Notion is useful for what? Right? And then under what is Notion, I will put the answer and I use a bullet list to write my answer. And that's how I created everything that you have here. So week one, I put everything, week two, week four, week five, week seven. And that was how I did it for each of my classes. And as I got busy and as things happened, sometimes I would put a screenshot. Like here, I stopped doing week one, week two. I just like wrote down. And these are actually screenshots from, you know, the material from the PDF that the professor provided. And I will have screenshots and I will explain it there. And this is so amazing because now that I've graduated, if I have a question, if something comes up in my mind, if maybe at work someone asks me about investing in Europe, right? And I learned that through international financial policy, I can just come to my Notion page and I can search. I just come here and I can search for something. And when I search, I'll find everything that I wrote, you know, about Europe. See? Increasing European taxes, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I did. That's how I used um, Notion for my MBA. My last charge would just be that Notion doesn't have to be dramatic. I think if you go on YouTube and you see people, people have so many templates and so many, those things are nice, but don't get caught up in the trap of making your Notion dramatic and fine and pretty. Notion is essentially a note-taking platform. Think about it like a jotter with sections. So just create sections and you can use pages to create sections for yourself and just keep the information in there. So to the person that commented, I hope this video has been very helpful for you. If you're looking for other ways to use Notion, then you should watch my detailed Notion tour. Uh, I'll link that here. And in that video, I share all the other ways in which I use Notion to manage my life. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.